Hello guys, in this particular session I am going to discuss about JSON files in Python. So here we'll be we'll be discussing about how we can use JSON files and how to store data in JSON files and how to retrieve the data which are stored in JSON file from the local drive. So for that uh, what we have to basically do is first we have to import the JSON library uh, to our file uh, to our Python file and after importing this I have also imported the pandas as pd which is basically used to read and write the, uh, the content of a file into the JSON format. So to do that first of all I have created two JSON frames uh, these are patients and the cars so the patient frame is basically containing the name, gender, nationality and age of a patient so these are the data which are I'm going to store in a JSON file and next the car data frame which are having uh, different types of car model with their names, price, model and power so these are the two frames I have created here so after creating these two frames I'm going to store these two frames into a JSON file so for that I need to uh, create two files uh, so yeah, here I have created two files in the D drive that are patient substation and the car substation so in patient substations this is the syntax like uh, we have to use that open function and the file name and here we have to give w so to write the file so this w basically means writing the file into some local drive and uh, after this I have uh, stored that patient data frame this is the patient data frame uh, into the patient suggestion file similarly I have done it for the cars format uh, like the uh, cars data frame so here you can see the cars suggestion which is basically containing this car data frame so these are the two uh, commands that we need to use to store this data frames into a JSON file so after storing these two uh, data frames utilization file, I can read those data frames from the local drive. So here, this is the syntax to read those data frames from the local drive. So I have given the location here inside that uh, pd dot read uh, function. I have given the location so it will read the that uh, JSON file and give store it to the variable this one. So it will store this uh, values content of the JSON file into this variable, and if we want to display those values, we have to we can give like uh, this variable name dot head, which will basically show us the first five rows of the um, JSON file. So here we can see the first five rows of the uh, data frame patients dot JSON, which are basically containing these things. So these are the values coming. Similarly, for the cars data set, we can do the same thing. So what I have done here is I have retrieved the cars suggestion from the drive by using the pd dot function. So after that, I have displayed those first five rows. Uh, if it contains five rows, that will show the five rows. And if here my data frame is containing four rows, so it will show the four rows here. So it's showing the four, first five, first four rows of the data set. So in this way, we can implement uh, this session, session files in Python by using this session library. So which is basically very helpful for to store the data in a local drive or to retrieve the data from the local drive. Also, we can use various commands or various operations with session session files which will be very helpful for us to share the information between the a client and server too and in most of the cases nowadays the session file is used in various various um, workstations so we can see uh, this session file has a very very great implementation unit uh, in the storing uh, and retrieving this data and uh, yeah also one thing i can say is it's very secure and it, uh, it have uh, the security as well and the contents are stored in a very proper format that you can access it, access it easily so that's all about the JSON file in implementation in python so in the next tutorial we're going to discuss about various libraries that are available in python